At the river mouth, the bears catch only the tastiest, most tender salmon. Which is exactly what we at John West want. John West endured the worst to bring you the best. Bears are often thought of as lazy and cute and cuddly, but these things are insanely moody and dangerous. Here are eight bear encounters that'll make you scream. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am your host, Curtis. Okay, This looks like a grizzly bear mother with her cubs. Look how huge this bear is. Like, usually bears are very aggressive when they have cubs around, but this bear must have known these people weren't a real threat. So she let them make it. And thank goodness for that. <laughs> yeah, that was Doesn't close. Better than that. <laughs> oh goodness, I hope everybody got a lot of shots. Did you? Yeah. Betty, how was that? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Check out this standoff between two hungry wolves and a bear as they have sort of a standoff over some dead carrion. What trips me out about this video is that this wolf here is not really scared at all by this bear. Now I know a wolf can hold its own and they are apex predators but they can't hang with no damn big bear like this. But hunger will make you do some crazy things. Nevertheless, this is mother nature at its best. So a mischievous and probably very hungry black bear breaks into a home and I'm pretty sure it's trying to figure out where the owners are hiding all the food. Then it does something I did not expect. Evidently this was taken with a home camera presumably while the owners were gone. And I'm just happy they weren't there because a hungry bear is an aggressive bear. Bob, I would be freaking out. Boy, I agree. A tourist had a close encounter with a mama bear and her cubs on a trip to Anakista. We showed you this video yesterday posted to TikTok. Photojournalist Brian Holt spoke to Anakista today who says these bears are frequent visitors. This happens at Anakista, which is an amusement park in Tennessee. Is there any scenario where you can imagine coming down this roller coaster and seeing this in your path? Hail to the gnaw. I would encourage if you were to encounter a bear while you were here at Anakista to of course maintain that 150 foot distance that the park recommends and notify one of our staff. Anna's not the only bear here on the property. We do see uh, several families. One is a, a bear with three cubs that our staff has lovingly called Goldilocks because of the three bears and another bear called Scrappy. Uh, and you know I guess our bears just enjoy our wide open spaces and our fresh mountain air just like our guests here at Anakista to do. So this is a battle between a bear and a bison. This bear must be really hungry and it is really trying to get the bison and there are a couple of points in which you think the bison is probably going to get the best of this bear. Because look, a bison ain't no punk. But unfortunately for the bison, it gets tired I think and eventually goes down to the water and after a while the bear just wears the bison down uh, and let's just say the bison lost, right? So the bear got him a meal or whatever, which really sucks because I was really rooting for this bison. Mm -hmm. 
This involves a guy riding his bike in Canada at Jasper National Park in Alberta. So he is riding the trail, and what does he see out in his peripheral at the last second? You guessed it. Look, I guess the bear was as spooked as him. Look, I guess the bear was as spooked of him as he was of the bear. And the bear just took off, which is quite the blessing for this cyclist. A warning about bears after a close encounter at Yellowstone National Park. An angry mama bear chasing tourists who've gotten a little too close to her and her cubs. This time it ended well, but it doesn't always. Here's Matt Gutman with what you need to know to stay safe. This morning, a warning in one of the country's most popular national parks. This is at Yellowstone where tourists get too close to a mama bear and her cubs, and they very nearly paid a painful price. Look, I've never been to Yellowstone, but stuff like this makes me think twice because all it takes is just one mistake and your ass is grass. This is just too close for comfort. Recently visited with Doug Seuss, creator of the Vital Ground Foundation, which protects bears and their habitat. He showed us some techniques that might help someone in a potentially deadly encounter with a dangerous bear. If you don't have much time to calculate, do you run, do you stand, do you try to make yourself large and make a lot of noise? You would never run. You never would stand, run. never run, absolutely never run under any conditions. You would talk in monotones, I'm all right, I'm all right, you're all right, there's nothing we're at here. So check this out. So this woman is snowboarding. As it's bad enough, she didn't really know at the time that the huge bear was coming for her as she like had her headphones on. But she didn't even find out till well after. Like, can you imagine blasting Rihanna and getting a tap on her shoulder from a bear like this one? You would probably have a heart attack before the bear even did any damage to you. Insane. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.